Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. So basically every electric vehicle nowadays comes with an app, right? An app where you can see the state of charge, you can lock or unlock the car, you can preheat the cabin. Well, this is my Unicona and I love it, but unfortunately it doesn't have an app. Same as the e-Nero, for example, and the first generation Ionic. And well, I'm a programmer for a living and I started to think there must be a way that that I can also read the state of charge of the car or maybe the battery temperature or whatever. It, it, it is handy for when your car is charging that you know how far it exactly is uh, without getting to the car and actually boot it up and you know the drill. It's not it's just not handy. So I started to Google a little bit. And I came across this thing called EV Notify, which is actually an, a third party app created by someone which could read the state of charge and a whole, a whole lot more stuff from different kind of cars. Renault Zoe, Hyundai Kona, uh, Opel Ampera or Chevrolet Volt, wherever you're watching. So I googled it a little bit and researched it a little bit, but... It didn't really suit my needs and I also didn't want to send my data to some random guy that is hosting his stuff on a server somewhere. I don't know the security and all that kind of stuff. So that's when I decided I would take that concept and I would actually create one myself. So without further ado, let's check out what I made. So I call it every time an app, but it is actually a mobile website. And what I can see on my website about my car is actually the state of charge that you can see over here. This is the state of charge info diagram, however you call it. So we can see the state of charge. It's currently at 71%. I will do a rough estimate about how many kilometers I can still drive, also based on the weather. Um, this information does not I, can't, I do not get this information from the car, so this is actually an, a calculation that I make myself based on my experience and I can tweak it a little bit. Um, I, can, I do calculate the charging times for when I'm going to charge a car that I actually know how long the car will be charging. So for example, at 3.2 kilowatts to 90%, it will take three hours and 48 minutes. And on 50 kilowatts to 80%, it will only take six minutes. And if we look at the battery info right now, that's actually the info about uh, the battery itself. So the health of the battery is still 100%. You can see the temperature, the min and the max, which are, well, they're most of the time they are the same. And we can see the inlet, inlet temperature. And that is actually the temperature of the fluid that goes into the battery. So for example, if the battery is heating up, you can see that the inlet temperature is actually hotter than the minimum or the maximum temperature. And we can also see the voltages here. So the DC battery pack has 377 volts at the moment and the auxiliary battery is operating at 13 amps at the moment. And because I'm using a mobile phone to send data to this little, to the server, I can also send the GPS locations of the phone. So here you can see where the car is and how fast it is driving. So right here you can see the interface of the app while the car is charging and the only difference between the non-charging interface is that you can see the, well what I called, the electricity flow. So that means you can see uh, how fast the car is charging. So it's charging at 230 volts with 13 amps and that means it's getting 3 kilowatts. And based on that number I can actually calculate how long the charge time is to 90% and to 100%. So how does this all work? It's not that complicated. So we got this ODB dongle. You cannot buy all the dongles that are out there. I mean the cheaper ones didn't work for me. I don't know why, but if you buy a cheaper one, this one was actually 50 to 60 euros. Can't remember exactly, but I found it quite expensive for a dongle. But actually the cheaper ones couldn't communicate with the car if the car was turned off. So for example, when the car is charging, of course the car, is, the car is turned off, but it receives power and you actually want to know the state of charge uh, for, for when it's charging. It makes sense, right? 
and a cheaper dongle just couldn't do it. I debugged it a lot and it turned out it was the dongle. So if you want to do this, buy a, a more expensive one. This one is called the ODB, ODB link. It's, it's great. It's working amazing. It's connecting with Bluetooth to actually this old mobile phone that I have in my wireless charging compartment. I have a wireless charging charge. I have a wireless charger attached to it. So that is actually so that the phone is actually charging while I'm driving. And that means um, it, it won't run out. And in that way, I have um, an app that, that, is always, that is always working. So like every eight minutes, um, the phone will communicate with the dongle. It will send its commands. It will receive the data from the car. Um, the phone will get that data. It will send it to a server that I have running. The server will parse all the data. And in that way, I can, re I can present it on my app slash website. Uh, there's nothing more to it. I gotta say though, a big thank you to the guy who created EV Notify. I did use his source code as an inspiration to um, write the source code for my app because it's quite tricky to read an ODB dongle when you have no clue how to do it. There's not a lot of documentation about it. So thank you a lot for that. And if you also want to do it, if you also want to create an app for your own electric vehicle, I will put down links to the source code below this video um, and then the source code for parsing the ODB data to something readable and also for and also the source code or maybe the whole app that will actually talk to the dongle so if you're a programmer or you're interested you can have a look at it I mean this video is called it's called do it yourself so you also should be possible to do it yourself and well that's it for now then so if you like this well we're not going to start there <laughs> thank you a lot for watching first if you like this feel free to press the like button and subscribe and if you did not well you probably don't know what to do too um so then again thank you a lot for watching and as always to be continued